Um, but it, it was, and, and then we, and then we just ran the the networking operation to to do all the cabling, and everything, um, uh, in four shifts, twenty four seven, and and I was like sleeping in the data center and also doing cabling myself. Um, and and there were a lot of other issues to solve. Um, you know, no, nobody had done a training run with a hundred thousand um, H one hundreds training coherently last year. I mean, maybe it's been done this year. I don't know, but. Um, and then, and then we ended up doubling that uh, to two hundred thousand, and so now we've got one hundred fifty thousand H one hundreds, fifty k H two hundreds, and thirty k GB two hundreds in the in the Memphis uh, training center, and we're about to bring one hundred ten thousand GB two hundreds online um, at a second data center, uh, also in the Memphis area. Is it your view that you know uh, pre training still working, and you know, larger the scaling laws still hold, and whoever wins this race will have basically the biggest, smartest possible model that you could distill. Well, there's all the various elements that, um, beside competitiveness for for large AI, um, there's, there's for sure the the talent of the people matter, um, the scale of the hardware matters, and how well you able to bring that hardware to bear so you can't just order a whole bunch of gpus and if they, they don't then you can't just plug them in <laughs> so you've, you've got to you've got to get a lot of gpus and, and have them um train train coherently and stably uh 